Okay, let's see. So I should not be able to see him. And I am able to do that. If this is going to be a hit, I don't know what to say. Oh, this guy's behind the rock. Oh, you guys are crazy. You are really into some kinky stuff sometimes in this game. In one of my previous episodes featuring 10-shot auto-loading tank destroyer, yes, we have that gun in the game, one of the weirdest guns in World of Tanks, I asked, what else would you like to see? And many of you guys said, show us the slowest shell velocity in this game. Folks like Martas Kali, Tave077 or many other beasts recommended try out OQF 3-inch Howitzer Mark 1 on British tanks with 182 meters per second shell velocity. It has two ammunition options with the same velocity, AG and Heat. AG is free to play, Heat is not so free to play. And before we jump into the action with not so free to play ammunition, do you want to know what is free? Today's episode is brought to you by a mobile game called Raid Shadow Legends, which actually surprised me a lot. I did not know graphics and all the other mechanics have evolved so much in the mobile gaming world. And yes, it is completely free and yes, you are able to play it anywhere on your phone. While sitting on the couch, while sitting on the toilet, while laying down on the bed, yes, or while walking down the stairs. Okay, maybe not, let's stick to the safer options, but this game is big and loved by many players. It has almost a perfect score on the Play Store, so this shows something. You have hundreds of characters to choose from, my favorite is Elaine, because just look at those stats. Yeah, those stats look amazing. I'm also ranking up Hyres, Athel and Kale, which by the way is one of the best starting champions in the game. But for me, I would say nothing beats Hyres's uh, stats once again. So jump in, clear some dungeons, complete campaign missions with a storyline, fight in the arena, collect your daily bonuses, something for everyone. They have many ideas, even a roadmap with new features and plans for the future updates. I am going to leave one special link into the description, go click on it and you get yourself 50,000 silver and one epic champion as part of the new players program, right from the get go. I kinda wish I had that option as well, so give it a try. I actually gave it a try before accepting this deal, because I never want to simply sell out to see if it is worth uh, your time as well, if it might be worth your time. And now I have spent over 10 hours in it already. Super nice way to kill some time. So huge thank you for sponsoring today's episode in the darkest times on YouTube. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to give this little setup a try. I have Covenanter or Covenanter or however you pronounce this vehicle over here, tier 4, a British light tank, ready and let's tune it up. Uh, this gun is over here. We have two ammunition options, as I said, uh, according to the tanks.gg. Uh, both ammunition types, uh, free to play, HG and pay to win heat, are with exactly the same shell velocity, 182 meters per second, which should be the slowest in the game. Well, you cannot go slower than that. 182 meters per second is almost as slow as it can be if you want to fire it, um, I don't know, 50 meters, more than 50 meters away from your vehicle. So, this gun is selected. I think I'm going to give this ammunition a loadout 37, 37, why the hell not? Uh, let's add some food to it. At uh, this time I'm not going uh, with a full bay to win crew. I actually, uh, this is like most of the players should have, maybe, if you play British tanks. So, not every single crew skill is activated this time, let's see, of course we need some aiming time, well actually aiming time is quite okay, 0.48 stock accuracy is quite bad, we were able to get it down to 0.47, uh, what else, uh, go to optics, of course, so let's put this thing on it, uh, do we have gun rammer, no we don't have gun rammer on this vehicle, so I guess I'm still going to pick this one, because when you fire with this type of gun, your bloom, gun bloom is going to be as big as the moon itself. So now 1.84 second aiming time, 0.47 accuracy, 2.7 kdpm, not bad. Not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put a little camo on it as well. This definitely takes some practicing, some time to get used to. I have never played with such a slow shell in this game uh, before. 
leading is going to be hard or, or maybe even impossible. <laughs> Let's see. I do not know what it means, maybe something good, maybe something bad, but I was in the queue for over one minute. Maybe it was looking right targets for me. KV-1S, KV-1, T-34, we have some slow vehicles over here, so maybe game actually knows what I'm trying over here. And you know what, I'm actually going to test this uh, shell velocity right away. I wasn't ready for that. And... What? <laughs> oh my god, shell is literally disappearing. Like, look, I'm shooting back here, Shell is literally disappearing from my screen. <laughs> and you know what? You can actually shoot over some covers as well. Oh, never mind, this is never going to hit. I knew that, but uh, old habits die hard, you know that saying, right? You know it, I bet you do. Let's see, am I able to spot that Lux again? Okay, this is Stug. Nope, nope, nope. Stug 4. Okay, critical hit. No, why are you rushing me down? Thank you for saving my ass. Now, someone needs to spot that looks. I really want to try curving shots over artillery. Artillery. Okay. Okay, looks. Really? You didn't see me? Oh, penetration and killed. And he's killed as well. I take it as my first battle. And now? Okay, too close and... Hmm. Okay. Uh, next battle. So now we have everything, all the excuses out of the way. In the first battle we tested this gun system for the first time ever. And in our previous battle we got one shotted by artillery. So in this battle everything should be amazing. Are you ready for it? I am, let's do it. And I would like to test out something uh, which I have seen uh, from one clip where I do not remember, sorry, I do not remember who it was, but um, the guy was literally shooting at enemy vehicles who were behind the hill because of this gun arc. Let's see, let's zoom out. <gasps> I almost hit that guy come on oh my god this is not going to land wow can you believe i almost randomly completely 100 percent randomly did hit that guy and so they have so many tanks up on the hill what was my heat penetration by the way 100 Ooh, this could be juicy they have exactly those two shells have exactly the same shell velocity Are you actually kidding me? Can I can I shoot over this? <laughs> this is unreal. This gun, this tank, unreal. I think I can actually curve my shots over. Okay, Jiha has good uh, rate of fire, I guess. And feeling tricky. Hmm. I do not want to play overly aggressively over here because I am alone, completely alone over here. Okay, got that. 38 millimeters of penetration, nice. And now, let's flank all those guys. Or let's snipe. Are you ready for the slowest sniping shell in the game? I don't know how much lead I have to give. Something like this. Oh, that was perfect lead, actually. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Back to the HE. That was an HE pen. Let's, let's try it out. Oh, that was arty. You know what, this is triple arty battle and arty should be defenseless. 
Artillery should be defenseless in this battle. No, no, no. It is time to bay back. We are not effing around over here. It is time to bay back. I missed. Now those low tier artists, they actually fire quite fast. So we have to act fast as well. Did this guy just fire on the move? Okay, top damage done. This went a lot better than our first battle. And a lot better than our previous battle. At least matchmaking is treating us nice in this little testing. And uh, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to test it out once again. Can we actually shoot over the hill? Or does the enemy tank has to be on the other side? Okay, let's see. So I should not be able to see him. And I am able to do that. If this is going to be a hit, I don't know what to say. Oh, this guy is behind the rock. I, look, I am not physically able to see his tank and I just killed him. Using auto lock and using this ridiculous shell arc. This, this feels like bloody hacking. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the most um, shameless, uh, not the most shameless, no, uh, this is the most harmless hacking in this game. I think so. Okay. Can I curve that shot as well? Let's see. I was spotted? Or was that a blind shot? I think that was a blind shot. Yeah, that had to be a blind shot. Okay, so we have one ridiculous kill hit already. So, yeah, we proved. We proved it. You can actually do it. You can actually make it happen. And boom. And time to switch targets. <laughs> okay, lead. Like that. Oh, this is such a bad lead. For this type of con. Uh, I don't even know. Like, I have to leave at least the five seconds in front. At least five seconds. Well, actually not. 180 meters per second shell velocity. We can, we could do the math. And boom. <laughs> oh. Simply wow. Simply wow. In this, in this type of matchmaking, I simply have to hope they do not have six cents yet. I have to hope that we are not playing versus seal clovers like I am at the moment in this battle. From that range, yeah, I am able to hit, I'm able to damage only targets which are standing still. And um, now let's simply go back, uh, fall back. And let's build a little defensive parameter. Got him. Oh, beautiful. Good job, artillery. Good job. I do not believe I am saying that in this battle, but good job, arty. <gasps> wow! Wowzer! That lead. That lead, though. Thank you. For focusing Arty. Come on, Arty. Reposition. Valentine. Uh, I think this bastard is going to be a tough one to take out with 80 rounds. Yep. As expected, we kind of have to flank him. Thirty-five damage. Just because the DPM rate of fire on Valentine is too bloody good. Is he going to chase us down? 
Okay, let's show. I'm going to show that I move towards that position. Heart is going. M3 is in the position. Nice. This is our chance to flank him now. Do not pay attention to me. Penetration. <gasps> no damage done. No damage done. No engine fire, please. No damage done again. Whew. Thank you, M3 Lee. There is 14 DP. 14 DP. Boom. On the move. <laughs> I can I can almost drive faster than my bloody shell. I can almost do that. Mm, what is 14 TP's armor? I do not remember. I have to be honest with you guys. Infrily has uh, slightly more hit points, so I am going to let that guy to go first. Okay, I'm able to deal some damage to him at least. Nice, okay, 70 damage, 70 alpha damage, and Artie missed. Good job. Now it only depends where the Artie repositioned. Anyone has a shot? Well, if anyone does, it is definitely not me. Unless I start aiming and I brief. Oh, I brief fire like that. Maybe that would have been a hit, maybe not. I don't know. I wasn't able to cross 1000 damage. But still, I would say extremely nice battle to end today's episode with. I'm happy. Hopefully you guys are happy as well. And this is the slowest shell in the game. The slowest shell velocity in World of Tanks. Top damage by a huge margin, 822 raw experience, not bad, really, quite a nice battle, actually, I have to say. So what do you say about that, ladies and gentlemen, yet another kinky, super weird kinky gun, it definitely has to be one of the weirdest guns in this game, I really do like this little mini series. So now it is your turn, it is your time to step into the ring and please let me know in the comment section what kind of guns, what kind of weird guns you would like to see me testing out in my next episodes. In one of my next episodes. Do that and if it is kinky or interesting or weird enough, I am going to do that. I already have seen a couple other suggestions, um, I'm going to give them to myself right now in this very moment but i am aware of some other kinky stuff so uh, this series this little mini series keeps going most definitely and uh, hmm, if i think about it it definitely has to be a bit more weird or a bit more kinky gun option in this game compared to my previous episode where i featured 10 shot autoloader on a tank destroyer on 87 i believe it was yeah, I'm entertained, I hope you are as well, I get you next time with something else, stay awesome, take care, and bye.